Central and I worked for Angus Council as a Resilience Manager and I signed up for a personal trainer, in fact two personal trainers, um, about six weeks ago and my reason for doing so was because that I have signed up to do the Cataran Yom, which is a trail, Cataran Trail, 54 miles in 24 hours. So whilst I've been doing some training over the last few months, I felt that I needed to improve my fitness, improve my stamina and my endurance. And I'm a member of Angus Alive, so I decided to come and approach Angus Alive and see if they could assist me. So they did. Fabulous new campus, so there was incentive. And I've been training with both uh, Jane Ritchie and Joe McKenzie. I don't think I've hated anything. Sometimes I've questioned my own fitness and although the YOMP has given me the incentive to get fitter, I needed to do that anyway, so sometimes I felt, oh my God, this is just, it's too hard and I'm not able for it, but both Jane and Joe have been so good and have recognised my strengths and my weaknesses, so they've tailored the programme and they've worked me hard, but I've wanted to work hard because I've had a personal trainer and that's made a big difference. So I would say to anybody, if you are looking to get back into fitness or you want to do something that is going to drive you and give you incentive rather than trying to do it on your own, there is no doubt having somebody working you hard makes a difference. So for me, I've loved having that and it's given me the incentive to kick up the backside, get out of my bed and get into the gym. I think coming to a facility like all the fab facilities in, in Angus now that have been provided through Angus Alive, it's, there's so much opportunity. I think having the one-on-one -on -one, if you're coming back into something is a real benefit for a number of reasons. One, it gets you to think about what you're required to do. It works your body in the right way. So for somebody that's been away for a long time, I was thinking, oh gosh, what do I need to do? What bits do I need to work? What, how do I do that in the best way? And also there's a bit about coming back into the gym when you're maybe not skinny and look like you think everybody else looks in the gym. So I think having that confidence and incentive to work makes such a difference and really, really great. And, and, I would, and I'm hoping I will keep this going. There is no doubt I will keep it going now that I've started it million dollar question. I am definitely fitter than I was at the very start. I did 15 and a half miles last week and I actually did that quite easily with the exception of having some tender feet but I know I could have kept going. The week before that or the two weeks before that I had done eight miles and my stamina even in the short time sort of the last six weeks has definitely improved and the team leader has noticed a huge difference in me from the very start of the walks that we did um, about four months ago to now and has said huge difference, my breathing, the way I'm walking, my endurance, my stamina and I think my confidence in being able to do it which is that mind over matter and I think both Joe and Jane have said to me it's about small tiny steps, work it out, think about it, keep focused and so I suppose the long-winded answer to your question is I'm as ready as I'm going to be with the exception of I've still got a few sessions this week that they're going to work on me for, so. I'm Jane Ritchie, I work at Forford Community Campus. I'm a leisure, leisure attendant, but I'm also a personal trainer for BMR Fitness Hub. Uh, I'm Joe McKenzie, I also work for Angus Alive, uh, but I run my own business, Joe McKenzie, personal trainer. I think, obviously with our consultation process where we find out Jackie's goals, her fitness levels, um, what she was wanting to achieve, how long she had. So after gathering all that information, it was simple enough to put up a programme together. But it wasn't until we actually met and did a programme in the gym that we were able to tailor it and change things um, to her fitness levels because we hadn't actually worked with her before. Um, also working separately in different businesses, it was quite good because we could pick up on each other's ideas. So Joe was giving myself some ideas and again I was giving Joe ideas so it was good to 
put our ideas together and obviously worked with Jackie. And then once she started, we would know if we needed to put adaption into place, what she was good at, what she was maybe not so keen to try. But she was actually really good at trying Absolutely, everything that yeah. I threw at her. So mm -hmm. she tried, she was actually my guinea pig for some things. So she was really good. Powered on through it. She did. Just fought through it. It was really good. Really good. The hardest bit is actually getting in touch with a personal trainer and then hopefully after that, once you've gone through the consultation, they should make you feel really nice and comfortable. It shouldn't be a scary thing to come to the gym. Um, they should always be on hand to give tips and advice. So just really, if you feel like you need to get to the gym or coming back to the gym, a personal trainer is the top person to ask. They've got all the experience there, they've got the knowledge there. They're not going to make you do anything that would make you feel uncomfortable. It is completely tailored to you. So. Absolutely. It's a big step, but it's the right step. I've heard so many people saying, I'm not fit enough to go to a personal trainer, but that's what we're here for. That's our yeah. job. We're here to get you fit and to get you confident enough to go off on the gym on your own and be able to do a workout on your own and feel confident to do so. You know, you don't need to be fit to come to see a PT. No. That's, that's our job. That's what we're here for. Yeah, couldn't fault Yeah, absolutely <laughs> couldn't. You know, Such a laugh. tried absolutely Such everything. Laugh. Yeah. Everything we asked of her, she would get on and do it, and you know, there she was... Good at, good at picking up cues, yeah. so you just had to tell her like one time and she would, she would know her body and she would put it into the shape that you wanted, so she was really good at yeah. that. Always keen to jump to the next next weight, you know, lift, yeah. lift heavier weights and push yourself that extra, extra bit, yeah. which is always what you want. Full of energy as well. Yeah. <laughs>